Salam. Jam. Shanti. We all want the same thing. Peace. And Rotary Clubs Salve. are making it happen. Ewa. Through international scholarships to promote peace around the world. Happy. Rotary. Humanity in motion. make a very quick and easy side dish that can be put with any meal, but it's especially good with a summer meal. Uh, it's a light side dish, mainly cabbage, uh, but you can see we also have some apples and some onions, some things to give it some really fresh uh, summertime flavors. The other reason that I wanted to do this uh, side dish idea is because right now cabbage is uh, plentiful and it will be fresh at most farmers markets here for at least another two, three weeks, uh, and then it'll, it'll start to cut back again. So uh, right now is the best time to go out and get some nice fresh uh, cabbage. For this recipe, you'll need one head of cabbage, some purple onion, apples, parsley, dill weed, mozzarella cheese, and some vegetable broth. And I'm just gonna take this outside leaf off, uh, and this one too. You don't wanna take all of them off, but any of them that are loose, you want them to, to stay compact. And when you're working with cabbage, you want to uh, get your big knife out. Uh, I know a lot of times we're scared to use those bigger knives, but uh, for a head of cabbage, you're gonna need something that you can really work with. Uh, basically, you just wanna cut straight down, kinda rock your knife. You can see it, it's, it's a tough one. And this is a, this is a sharp knife that we've got, so cut down through there. Once you've got it in half, half your, uh, half, half your battle's won, uh, go ahead, use your flat side, Put that down, and we're gonna cut it into quarters. Once you have it in quarters, don't worry about your, your uh, core until we're to this point. Now that we're to this point, well then you just simply take your knife at an angle and cut that core out, okay? And that's the easiest way to do it. Once we have our quarters, we're just gonna place those in our casserole dish. Get this one done. You know, cabbage is one of those things that uh, a lot of people shy away from. Uh, the only time we ever really eat a, a, any cabbage is if we're eating an egg roll or if we're eating cold slaw. But cabbage is really a versatile vegetable. And it's, it's plentiful in the uh, grocery stores pretty much year round at, at a lower cost. So it can be a really good alternative uh, to a green leafy vegetable. You know, we're supposed to eat green leafy vegetables at least three times a week. And a lot of times we get tired of eating spinach or always having a side salad. And so this is a, a really good way that we can kind of add something new. Quick, easy to work with, picks up flavors very well. Once we're to this point, you can see we've got our uh, quarters in our casserole dish. We're just going to put some beef, or excuse me, vegetable broth in the bottom. Now I'm using, mm, oh, about two thirds to uh, three quarters of a cup of broth. And the reason I'm using that much broth is because you could use a white wine. And uh, if you were gonna use a white wine, then you'd wanna kinda do half broth, half wine. And that's just to give it more of a rich, uh, deeper flavor. But you can use the vegetable broth uh, and that's just fine. What we're gonna do now is we're going to just top this with some coarsely chopped apples. I always love putting fruit in with vegetables and side dishes because that's one of the things we don't get enough of is fruits and vegetables. And so we can put those together, uh, kill two birds with one stone. And then we're going to add in some of our purple onion. I like adding the purple onion in here, mainly because I like the color. Uh, if you don't have purple onion, you could use the other. That's just fine. And we've got about two tablespoons of fresh dill weed. Uh, now keep in mind, this is fresh dill weed. If you were going to use a dry dill weed, you'd wanna cut that back. Uh, probably more to, oh, a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half. Uh, it also kinda depends on how much your family likes dill. In summertime, I really love the flavor of dill and stuff, so I kinda load it up. 
All right, got that. This is basically what your product is gonna look like when you put it into your preheated oven. We've got our oven preheated to about 350. We're gonna cover it with foil, pop it in the oven, bakes for about, oh, 25, 30 minutes, uh, but really just kind of check it. You want it to be tender, but not mushy. Uh, because if we cook it too long, then our cabbage is just gonna be kind of soupy and mushy, and we don't want that. So cook it until it's just uh, tender. Can't get much easier than that for a side dish. Basically get your stuff together, throw it in a casserole dish, and pop it in the oven. Wanted to let everyone know that you can also do this as a grilled cabbage. Use the same ingredients, but instead of putting it in a casserole dish, uh, covering it with foil and putting it in the oven, you make the grill foil packets where you uh, take the foil uh, and you make a uh, kind of a, a boat or a package, a package out of it. Now remember, you're gonna be putting some liquid in here, so don't go sparingly on your foil package. You want that to be pretty big, and all that's gonna bake uh, and steam inside the grill. Probably won't take nearly as long uh, to cook on the grill as it did in the oven. And one of the things that you would also wanna do is marinate the cabbage before you do that. Use your uh, uh, vegetable broth or your wine uh, and actually marinate that in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Uh, but we are pretty much ready. You can see we've got all that fresh dill on there. Now it looks pretty heavy on top, but remember we've got a pretty big piece of cabbage there. And so all that, once we get it on the plate, is gonna kind of fall apart, gonna mingle together. Finishing touches on this dish include uh, doing some parsley. Now, uh, what you wanna do with parsley or any other fresh herb that you're gonna add on top, just put it in a container, take your scissors, kinda mash it uh, or uh, cut it up like this. All right, got that. And have our mozzarella cheese. And how you would serve this up is you just wanna take one of your cabbage quarters, Put that on your plate. Make sure that you get some of those yummy apples and onions uh, that can go with it. And then once we have that, we're going to put a little bit of mozzarella cheese on the top. Don't worry about it uh, melting. You don't need to put it back in and melt it. Uh, just having it on top fresh is fine and then sprinkle with a little bit of parsley. Makes a really impressive but really easy uh, side dish. You could pair this with a grilled chicken, a grilled fish, and it would make a wonderful summertime meal for you and your family. Hope you enjoy this one. Be sure to come back to the Food Corner, part of Newstar.com, for more demonstrations and recipes. And if you have any questions, contact the Pottawatomie County OSU Extension Office. We'd like to send a great thanks to Rock Creek Baptist Church for letting us use their facilities today. And remember, eat better, eat together.